Hello, my name is Anne Goodbull. I'm the CEO and founder of Spiritor, which our operators specialize in social journeys and pilgrimages. Our mission uh, is to help people stop and reflect on their lives and uh, encourage uh, personal and spiritual growth. Um, so this uh, pilgrimage test that we are offering you to the Holy Land is done in uh, collaboration with the Youth Ministry of Montreal. Uh, this is a, the third or the fourth time we offer this pilgrimage to the Holy Land uh, with them. And uh, we're happy to announce that uh, this pilgrimage will be accompanied by Archbishop Christian Lepine, uh, uh, who's the Archbishop of the Diocese of Montreal, and also a member of the uh, Youth Ministry team. Uh, so I will present to you uh, briefly the itinerary that you will be, um, that you will uh, have the opportunity uh, to follow during this pilgrimage. Uh, and uh, well, I would like to also underline that a pilgrimage to the whole event is, is something I truly believe every Christian should experience once in a lifetime. Uh, for me, it was life-changing. Uh, I had the opportunity to go three times, and each time was very enriching and just absolutely wonderful. Um, it really made the Bible come alive. Uh, it's just it very, very special to to be where the gospel was 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 lived, or where it all happened, you know, and to discover these places that that we've been hearing since our childhood, like Nazareth, uh, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and, and to be there is just amazing. And when you come back, you just don't read the Bible the same way anymore because um, every time you hear. Uh, the gospel, you you have those images that come back and the experience that you live uh, there when you were there, and, and now it just it comes alive. So you know it's just, just amazing. So uh, let's uh, show you the itinerary that we offer you. Um, so there we go. The pilgrimage will take place from June 26 through July 8th at 20. Um, and uh, uh, yes, as I said, it will be accompanied by the Archbishop, uh, and it's done in collaboration with uh, the Youth Ministry. Uh, you see here the map, so I'll just show you quickly. You land here in uh, Tel Aviv, um, and then from there, you will go directly to, where's my little arrow? <laughs> Okay, to Bethlehem. Uh, so I, I think the site is great because you're basically following uh, Jesus' life uh, like chrono chronologically. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you start at his birth place. And uh, the first day you'll see in the pictures, uh, you will you'll go in the desert. And then uh, you go up to Galilee, um, after the two first nights in Bethlehem, then, then you will be staying in Tiberias, right here by the Sea of Galilee. And of course, you'll visit Nazareth, Mount Tabor, and um, different places around, like Haifa as well, just before going to Galilee. And then uh, you will be going down the Jordan, Jordan Valley, uh, stopping in Jericho, and then um, going to Jerusalem for the last um, uh, the last few days, uh, uh, so the site of the Passion, Death, and the Resurrection of Jesus Christ. So let's see now with some pictures uh, what you can experience uh, right from the first day. Uh, as I said, you go to Bethlehem, but you will have the uh, opportunity to ride on a camel in the desert. So uh, this is a desert where Jesus um, went uh, for 40 days. Uh, he retreated uh, there and uh, uh, just before starting his ministry. So uh, this 
uh, very special to start a pilgrimage in the desert. Uh, so you will be staying um, near the birthplace of Jesus. And of course, you will be um, visiting this uh, church of the Nativity and uh, see the, the grotto where Jesus was born. Um, and then uh, the Church of St. Catherine, which is right next to it, um, which is a, basically the Catholic part of the Nativity Church, which is uh, also the Orthodox Church. Uh, so uh, you will be visiting also the she Shepherd's Hill, uh, where the angels appeared to uh, the shepherds to uh, announce the, the birth of Jesus. And you also also have the opportunity to celebrate mass with local Christians, uh, the local community. So this should be a great experience. So, uh, then uh, the um, after these two first days in Bethlehem, you go up north uh, towards Galilee, and we'll stop in Caesarea, uh, where um, uh, well, basically it was a Roman the Roman capital at the time of uh, the, the Roman Empire. And uh, you can still see uh, a theater that is, that is still in use today for concerts and all, uh, Roman theater. And then you see here in the picture, the Roman aqueduct. Uh, so uh, you'll have the guided tour of this place. And also some apostles went there, like um, Peter and Paul. And uh, then you will stop in Mont Carmel as well. And uh, Haifa and St. John of Acre. Uh, then uh, uh, you will be staying in Tiberias uh, for the night. The next day you will visit Nazareth, uh, uh, which is the childhood uh, village or, or town of, of Jesus, uh, which has grown, of course, since then. Uh, you see the basilica in the center of the, the village. Uh, this is the Basilica of the Annunciation uh, in the, the crypt, uh, the basement of the church is the grotto where the angel uh, Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary to, uh, to announce that she's going to give birth to, to a child. Well, of course, he asked her, her permission and she said yes. So, so this, this is where it took place. And then you will visit the Church of San Gabriel with Mary's well and the Church of the Annunciation, we just talked about it. Uh, uh, you'll be celebrating Mass there as well. Uh, and then on the way back to Tiberias, you will start stop in Cana of Galilee, uh, which is the site of Jesus' first miracle when he transformed water into wine at the, uh, at the wedding. Uh, then uh, you will visit Mount of Beatitudes, so, uh, which is just a beautiful place overlooking the Lake of Galilee, the Sea of Galilee, um, or Lake of Tiberias. Uh, and uh, you will be able to celebrate Mass in the garden. Uh, you will visit Tabga uh, right uh, next to the lake, uh, another beautiful place, uh, the synagogue of Capernaum which is a site of many miracles that Jesus um, did uh, in his preaching in this synagogue and cured a lot of people. Um, and then you will finish that day with, uh, conclude that day with a beautiful cruise on the Sea of Galilee, uh, which is also a lot of fun. You can dance on the boat uh, and also really take a time of meditation in the middle of the lake. Uh, and then we, we shut off all the, the, the water of the boat and we read a, from the scripture uh, an event that took place on the lake. Um, for example, uh, when uh, Jesus uh, calmed down the, the storm or the miraculous uh, uh, the, the fishing. Uh, so, yeah, you can uh, take the time to, uh, to read that and meditate. Um, to also visit the beautiful site of Banyas so, uh, by uh, the lake. And uh, you will have the uh, opportunity to go on a kayak to on a Jordan River. Uh, well, this is actually the rafting that you see in the picture, but now we change for kayaking, uh, which uh, 
it is more adequate for the Jordan River, but there are not so many rapids. Um, you will also visit Mount Tabar, uh, which is the place of transfiguration of Jesus Christ. Um, so you have this beautiful church of the transfiguration on top and a beautiful view of the whole valley of Jezebel. Um, this is also the view that you get from, from up there, the Mount of, uh, of Tabar, and you can see uh, um, the Archbishop from the front uh, of this picture, and also members of the youth ministry team. Uh, here you have uh, the Wadi Kiel, uh, which is a beautiful gorge um, where there's a monastery, as you can see on the picture. And um, uh, very often we celebrate mass in the desert uh, at a place overlooking the canyon, which is uh, very beautiful. Uh, you will stop in Jericho, the oldest city of the world, and you will be able to see the Zashi tree. And uh, you will also make a stop on the, another place on the Jordan River, which is the baptism site where Jesus was baptized by Saint John the Baptist. Uh, and uh, this is also the natural border with, uh, with Jordan. And uh, you will uh, be able to renew your um, vows of baptism if you wish uh, at this site. Uh, then you will be going to Jerusalem, uh, the city, uh, the holy city, of course. Uh, so you will be staying um, by the old part of Jerusalem, and you will be visiting many sites, uh, the Basilica of the Agony, uh, Gethsemane Garden, the Upper Room, where to place the Last Supper, uh, Masada, which is actually outside of Jerusalem by the Dead Sea. Uh, so you will be uh, uh, able to visit this incredible site, which was constructed under um, the uh, Herod, Herod the, the Great. And uh, you will take a uh, cable car <laughs> to, to get up there. The view also is magnificent. Uh, you also visit Qumran site. Uh, uh, where the uh, scrolls of the Dead Sea were found, um, and you will able to will be able to experience a bath in the Dead Sea, and if you wish, a mud bath. Mm -hmm. uh, back to Jerusalem, of course, you will be able to see the Western Wall, uh, which is uh, an open air synagogue. Uh, so there's a lot of rituals and, and um, ceremonies taking place there. Uh, you will be able to do the, the Way of the Cross starting at Ecce uh, which was the, uh, the place where Jesus was judged by Pontius Pilate. Uh, so the Via Dolorosa, or Way of the Cross, uh, is in the, in the old part of Jerusalem. And so you will be able to meditate on each, uh, at each station. Uh, some places are, uh, there's a little chapel, uh, and uh, then it ends uh, at the Holy Sepulchre, uh, of course, where the, the last stations are, and the tomb of uh, Jesus, uh, of course, the empty tomb, because he, he raised from the dead, uh, but he will be able to, to pray there at the, the tomb. And yes, Anastasis means uh, the resurrection. So there is actually a dome. You see the blue domes. There are two on this building, and there's one over the Calvary, and there's one over the tomb, the site of the resurrection. So we hope that you will participate in this wonderful pilgrimage that is uh, made for young people. Uh, we invite uh, the youth uh, from very 18, sorry, 18 to 35 years old. Uh, so this should be really a wonderful experience. We've heard a lot of beautiful testimonies from previous experiences. And you will fly back to uh, Montreal out of Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion's airport. So uh, we hope that this uh, information was helpful. 
and please don't hesitate to contact us uh, for more information about uh, this pilgrimage. Uh, so you can reach uh, youth, uh, the Youth Ministry of the Diocese of Montreal uh, and, or Spiritors if you have any uh, question at all, we'll be happy to answer you. Thank you.